when we look at uh, the history of Islamic reform, we have to go back to the uh, beginning of the colonial period, uh, the beginning of the 19th century. We have to look at what was the motivation to want to reform Islam. And what we find are colonizers uh, with colonizing agents such as Lord Cromer within Egypt. Uh, we find the British in the uh, Asian subcontinent in India. We find them in Malaysia and Indonesia. And they all had the same goal as colonizers. We need to uh, get Muslims less committed to Islamic law. Because if they're committed to Islamic law, they're not going to accept us as their rulers. They're not going to accept our law. They're not going to accept our companies and corporations, such as the East India Company, that's wanting to control them and take their resources and enslave them. And they're going to fight against us. They're going to engage in jihad, in defending their land and their families and their people against our imperial invasion. So we have to convince them that what we are doing as colonizers is helping them progress. So they need to understand that Islam is something that is open to reformation. It's open to becoming secularized and liberalized. And so they took deliberate measures to influence Muslims and to, in the words of Lord Cromer, de-Muslimize de -Muslimize Muslims. And they did this, for example, by bringing some of the uh, top intellectuals of the Muslim world, top scholars of the Muslim world, to England, to France, giving them a secular education, secularizing them, getting them acculturated to European, Western culture, and then sending them back into top positions at universities, at Islamic universities, and taking control of governmental positions, media positions, to pr tell Muslims not that we are here to destroy Islam. No, we're here just to bring a more enlightened Islam, to bring an Islam that is more peaceful, more tolerant. We're here just to help Muslims achieve the kind of progress that Europe has enjoyed. And so this is the history of reformism. It is something that is government funded. It is something that is pushed. And the goal has always been the same, to have Muslims denounce or separate themselves from those aspects of their religion that conflicts with the colonial en enterprise, with the influence of imperial law, to have them abandon those aspects of uh, their religion that conflicts with liberal secularism, feminism, and so forth. So this is a deliberate program. It has been uh, very successful, unfortunately, and we find different kind of uh, uh, native informants around the world who are sponsored by Western governments to present themselves. Look, I'm a Muslim. In fact, I'm a scholar. In fact, I'm an imam. And Muslims, we have a problem. Islam is a tragedy. We have to change Islam and make it more compatible with the modern progressive way of life. And we have to denounce our past and we have to burn and slash our tradition because there's, these are all terrorists. And we have to embrace the path of enlightenment, the path of progress that our Western masters are uh, presenting. So this is something that we find in the past. We find it today. Sometimes we find it in amongst ourselves. I really want to move to the next topic, but 